A working gold mine is a dirty, dangerous place. And possibly the last place you'd expect to find a physics lab trying to solve one of the greatest mysteries of the universe from a kilometre underground. Copy shift boss. Copy Jeremy. We're on our way to what will be the SUPL, the Stall Underground Physics Laboratory. And to get there, we're driving through a very busy mining operation. Now the idea is that all this rock we're driving under will block out cosmic interference and stop it from reaching down into the lab that sits at the end of this tunnel. And in that lab is going to sit a remarkable device waiting to detect a particle of dark matter, a particle no one has ever seen. It's like a ghost, able to travel through solid walls, through us, through, well, the entire Earth and never collide. So that's tricky when you want to try and find it. It makes up more than 80% of all the matter in our universe. It's believed to be a product of the Big Bang, a mass of particles that formed an invisible three-dimensional web in space with so much gravity that our visible universe clings to it, strung along its strands. We're pretty sure it's there because we can observe light bending around objects in space that we can't see. But can it be found underground? What gives us hope that we're looking in the right location is because one experiment did claim a detection. This is the Dama Libra experiment based in Italy. The Dama Libra Lab's detection shows the same pattern every year. Detections go up and down with the seasons, peaking in June and dropping to their lowest in November. This project is going to recreate that experiment on the other side of the world, and that's important. In other words, by placing a detector that's similar to theirs at the very other side of the Earth, we can tell whether that is the seasons or dark matter. And that's the kind of lengths you have to go to to find a ghost. This project is betting that the ghost will turn out to be a weakly interacting massive particle, or a WIMP for short. There's a lot of good reasons for why the WIMP might be the dark matter particle but nature doesn't have to be kind. If a wimp hits a nucleus in a crystal, it should create a tiny flash. That flash is then detected by ultra-sensitive cameras known as photomultiplier tubes at either end of each crystal. The trip down is about eight or nine kilometres. It takes around half an hour and it's pretty rough going. It's bumpy and it's windy and you're dodging very, very large mining vehicles. And this is the only way that this project can happen because it's in a working mine. There's no way that the university could afford infrastructure like this. The power, the lights, the transport, the safety, the ventilation, everything to make this lab work. Well, the first thing you notice, it's a lot quieter than the rest of the mine. Just the sound of their air conditioning and it's a lot cooler. So this is what the crystal is going to look like? Yes. So this is a mechanical uh, mock-up of the inner part of Sabre. So this one, this cylinder over here, represents the crystal, the 7 kilogram high purity crystal. These two represent the two detectors that will see the light, the dark matter will do when uh, the crystal um, interact with dark matter. And so all this is inside that big metal tub. Absolutely. And you have those photo detector globes. Yes. And it's all very clean and it's all yes. very fragile. Absolutely. How are you going to get it up the Western Highway and down that bumpy mine road? Oh, that's a big, big task. It will take a long time, very slow, so you don't want to get stuck behind <laughs> us. And when do you think you'll actually be able to throw the switch and turn this thing on? We hope in a year from now. Nothing happens quickly in space. No. Nah. <laughs> no. Nah. Well, there it is, in there, down the bottom of this mine shaft, the room where we might unlock some of the mysteries of the universe or create many, many more questions. What always amazes me about 
dark matter is that we're so used to thinking of it as out there somewhere, holding the stars in their orbit around the Milky Way or doing other fantastical astronomical things. But it's right here, it's in this room. When you want to meet that companion who's been in your life, your whole life, and indeed for the entire length of the universe itself, that is the reason that your, your galaxy is even here, I think it's about time we met this dark matter. Ben Knight, ABC News, Storm.